Hello guys, this is Surujit Basa and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will be building PHP REST API and integrate with React application. We are not going to use any sort of advanced frameworks like Laravel or Codeigniter and this way you can learn how you can handle the request like put, post, delete and get requests. In PHP as well as you can also get a gist of how object oriented programming works. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So at first make sure your XAMPP or LAMP or Laragon server is running which I have currently. Now I am going to the browser and typing https colon double forward slash api dot dev and now you can see I already made this project earlier. Now I am just going to quickly create another project so I recommend you to download and install Visual Studio Code. In order to write codes and I am going to open a folder over here. In my triple w folder I am going to create a folder called php underscore rest underscore api. So in which this directory is open and this will be the root of our project. Currently it's empty. Now if I go to the Laragon app and click to reload button, it will create php rest api.dev virtual host for us. But before that we need to give the permission to do this. Now if I go to the browser and type https colon double forward slash api underscore rest underscore api.dev and hit enter, it's working. Now going to back to Laragon application tool. I'm going to click the database, it will open PHP MyAdmin, which is web based MySQL client to manage MySQL database. I will be creating first is the database, so let's go ahead and create a database. A database will be our PHP API, and let's create it. And the columns will be five, uh, sorry, six, and the table name will be posts. First one we will create an integer type which is id and that will be the id of the post and it will be auto incremented so the next column will be the title and which will be a varchar and it can accept the characters of 100 so we are basically limiting the characters then here we have the body and the body section it will be text and I'm not going to specify any length of the text then next field which we are going to make is author that will be varchar and because we are accepting the name up to 80 characters then next one will be the created at and this will be timestamp and by default it is going to create the current timestamp and then we will create another column that is updated error. and we will not give it a default uh, value which is a timestamp because when we create a post it shouldn't be update automatically it will update only when we update the post so we are all set with this database and here we have our post table which has post and the structure of this post tables is id table title body author created ad and updated ad so in next tutorial we will be creating some directory inside our root project and we'll start from there so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel